did Dokkan actually mess up the celebration by not releasing an actual playable Beast Gohan and the fact that they made Piccolo's transformation giant form? Did they actually mess up? The reason why I ask this is because, you know, initially when we found out about the celebration and all the details, it was very disappointing. But I wanted to wait a few days and look at this as objectively as possible because here's the thing i'm a little bit biased if i'm in the wrong mindset because i absolutely love the superhero movie and from a consumer standpoint i was as disappointed if not more disappointed as all of you when when we found out that it wasn't actually going to be a playable transformable beast gohan and the fact that orange piccolo was a giant form transformation that only lasted you know a few turns it, it was actually very disappointing but why was it actually disappointing from an objective standpoint if we look at it at a little bit different angle i think the the real reason why we were all so disappointed is number one we were expecting it to be a playable beast gohan a transforming beast gohan and we were expecting a you know a transforming orange piccolo just like a normal orange piccolo that would transform we could play with orange piccolo for the remainder of the event that we're running or whatever it might be and then number two the developers led us to believe at, at, at the very least that it was going to be a playable beast gohan an actual beast gohan that we can really actually play with in the game the, the the news the hype everything was pointing towards that and i would say in that aspect the developers did fumble because it was misleading it was almost deceptive of them to do that but if we take a look at it from a different angle another angle it is an lr ultimate gohan that has an active skill that goes into beast gohan and that active skill is the best looking active skill in the game in my opinion the the quality the angles the way it zooms in on them like it did in the movie that does not disappoint we're just disappointed that it's not an actual beast gohan that we can you know play with for the remainder of the event D do i think they handled it in the best way no they're lrs but if we actually take a look at it there's not a whole lot of animations to go off of when it comes to beast gohan Let's be real. Let's be honest with each other. Um, there are not a whole lot of animations. I know they could have, you know, come up with their own, maybe even, you know, copy and pasted from some other units, kind of mix it together like they do with some units here in Dokkan. Um, we even have the what if Gohan and Goku unit, the Super Saiyans from the Android slash Cell Saga, where they're fighting together when they actually didn't during Android slash Cell Saga or during the Cell games. So, we know Dokkan can make up some animations and, and do really well by it and, and make the animations really, really good as original animations that they make. But there are there are not a whole lot of animations to go off of with Beast Gohan. And if we look at the bright side here, we have this LR Ultimate Gohan that has the active seal that goes into Beast Gohan that looks really good. Later on down the road, we could get a Dokkan Fest standalone Beast Gohan that has a counter and he's only going to have one super attack so most likely and 99 obvious here probably going to be special beam cannon without an active skill or anything like that so there is some positivity and bright sides to this that could potentially happen down the road we could definitely get a standalone orange piccolo to go along with the power awakened piccolo there, there are some things there are some positives that could happen later on down the road so this celebration is not a complete loss and i think it's a fine celebration now were we expecting it to be really really big of course because it's something we've been waiting on for the longest time and honestly at, you know with it being new year's we expected it to be on the level of the anniversary and the worldwide download celebration most likely that was in our heads you know since it was something we were waiting for for the longest time and we finally are you know coming upon the release of the new superhero units we wanted them to go all out on this celebration leave nothing on the table and that's what we wanted maybe they already had all this plan they probably already had all this plan months in advance they were just waiting to release it at the time that they you know was appropriate and at the time that they 
we're given permission to i think our disappointment part of it comes from the fact that we were expecting it to be anniversary level worldwide download celebration level and i'll be completely honest aside from the fact that it's superhero related and from the fact that it happened for the first time new year's celebration here that happened for the first time on both sides of the game i think our expectations were a little bit unrealistic a little bit i think that's part of the reason not the whole reason but part of the reason why we're so disappointed and let down and the and the other part being the fact that we were led to believe it's going to be an actual transforming orange piccolo that we can keep during the event and an actual transforming beast go on that we can keep during the event all the cards didn't fall right they did not fall right for sure and i think it was just due to lack of communication the misconception of things and a mix in of what we actually expected and wanted from this celebration on top of that you know if, we, if we're looking at it you know from a developer's standpoint you know they have the anniversaries like you know planned out months in advance and if we look at it that way you know jp's anniversary is coming up so they got to release some really really hype units some really really good units i honestly believe that you know for the most part that they don't want to undermine the amount of work they've put into the anniversary that's coming up on jp so if they would have made beast gohan and orange piccolo the top units in the game not to say that you know they wouldn't have been able to make this anniversary coming up successful but i i really think they they want all the hard work they've done for the anniversary best celebration of the year aside from the worldwide download celebration it, it, it does kind of make sense that they didn't make this power awaken piccolo and this lr ultimate gohan as good as we wanted because jp anniversary is right around the corner and, and it really does make me wonder if that's the reason why these two units were not what we expected them to be and then and that brings me to another point you know if they if they would have made lr ultimate gohan and lr power wake and piccolo the best units in the game and then they're you know sliding down the the tier list already when jp anniversary comes about and suddenly those units are better than lr ultimate gohan and better than power wake and piccolo at that point i don't think the developers can win because then we'd be complaining about how lr ultimate gohan and lr power wake and piccolo were already becoming irrelevant if you think about it that way is like what can the developers do at that point point? and don't get me wrong i'm not trying to take the developer's side in this i really do feel like it should have been a, a beast gohan we can actually play with i really do feel like it should have been an orange piccolo that we can keep transformed for the rest of the battle i really do feel that way from my perspective and from my standpoint as a content creator i feel like that would have been a better move for dokkan and for the developers to release these units in that aspect and in that way but like i said in this video i want to look at it as objectively as possible and look at all the different angles and perspectives and if there's anything you disagree with or anything like you can roast me in the comments below i really don't mind i would ask that you keep it civil and not post any hateful comments because in reality i just want this to be a discussion amongst the community and i also want to know your honest thoughts and opinions about all this you know a few days after the fact that we received the the information and the reveals and all that stuff we've had some time to think about it. we've had some time to sit on it and that's why i'm making this video now versus right away because if i would have made this video right away i would have been ranting i would have been mad i would have been disappointed you know you'd have seen a totally different person when we expect something and we don't get it immediately that immediate satisfaction that immediate result is very disappointing and we get frustrated or angry or mad or sad but all in all in summary we wanted a beast gohan we wanted an orange piccolo we got that but not in the way we wanted and i think there's just other factors and other moving parts that the developers are involved in that we just can't see that maybe we should take a step back and see what's going to happen in the next few months see what we're going to get for the anniversary and start thinking about that for those of you who are jp players 
for those of us who are global players start thinking about it so we can you know focus on whether or not you want to save your stones for the anniversary coming up on global in the next you know six to seven months happy doconing and let me know your thoughts down in the comments below and i'll catch y'all in the next one